Hello, Star Season family. How are you all doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are. I am back to give us another message from God. So let me go ahead and invite the Holy Spirit and we'll get started. Sweet Divine Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence now. Come and commune with us, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. You're wonderful. You're great. You're magnificent. We thank you for your love, your kindness, your grace, your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done for us. Thank you for everything that you have brought us through and to. We give your name praise, glory, and honor and reverence, Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you for loving us. Sweet divine Holy Spirit, we welcome you. You are Emmanuel with us, God with us. We amen. We welcome you, Emmanuel. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. I feel your presence now, God. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for covering us with your blood. Let no evil come near us now our dwelling. Giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We thank you, Lord God, for all of your provision, God. We thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And if you are for us, who can be against us? We thank you, Lord God, that you are our shepherd and we shall not want. We thank you, Lord God, that you have supplied all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We give your name, praise, glory, and honor, Lord. We love you, Lord. We appreciate everything you do for us every second of the day. We thank you, for God, for breathing in and out of our nostrils, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, that all of our organs are functioning properly, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all your many blessings, small and big. We thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, I ask that you speak through me now to give this word to your people, to encourage and uplift their hearts, to let them know what they need to see, what they need to know, and what they need to be aware of. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all, Star Seeds, for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I truly appreciate you all very much. Thank you for your encouraging and nice words in the comments section. Thank you all so much. I'm glad that we are a um, a tribe and community that can share our experiences, um, our encounters, and also encourage one another as well. We're all in this together, and we need each other's encouragement and strength. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so glad to have you here, a part of our Star Seed tribe and community. And if you are returning, welcome back. So glad to have you back. All right, so let me go ahead and um, get into this message. Um, this message here is for life path number two. Um, so if you didn't um, see or watch the, um, the message for life path number one, so I'll just explain what it is. So this year I'm going to start doing um, life path numbers along with our regular messages um, the life path numbers are one through nine. Um, I think those would be um, a, a unique way of giving you all messages that can be more personalized to you. Um, the zodiac signs. A lot of us have a lot. A lot of us have all of the zodiac signs in our birth charts. So sometimes it's hard to kind of pinpoint um, who the message is for. So with the life path number, um, you would calculate it with your birth date. So if your birthday is November 2nd, 1998, you would add all of those numbers together. So you would add 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 9 plus 9 plus 8. And that number should give you 31. And then you want to re reduce that down to a single single digit so th one plus three would be four so that would be life path number four so that's how you can um know what your life path number is and you can also look up that information online and um it'll give you more information on your life path number um which is very very interesting and on points i know mine is um so, yeah, so this message right here is going to be for life path number two. So um, God wants you all to know that um, 
Somebody is freeing themselves from a group of karmics. Um, they have found out the truth of what they were doing um, to you all behind the scenes. And these are your divine partners are freeing themselves and walking away from the conflict of this group um, that a lot of them had no idea that they were a part of. So these, this divine partner has found out everything that this, um, these, this karmic and this group tried to do to, to you all. Um, they're realizing that this person was um, very codependent and they tried to destroy a chosen one, which is you all. So at this time, this person is acting very crazy um, because they're losing their stability and security from this divine person, this divine partner of yours. So this person is, this karmic and this group is going through a very um, painful ending. Um, this person has found out about the betrayal and how they stabbed them in the back and, you know, worked behind their back. This person was a spiritual bully. Um, they were trying to win at all costs. They were um, hiding their hands, you know, having hidden motives, hidden mo motives and agendas. And they were trying to cause this divine partner to miss an opportunity to miss out on their inheritance um, that was connected to their twin flame contract and journey with you. And so this person is experiencing a painful, painful ending at this time that is going to, um, this ending is going to cause a lot of drama, karma, bad luck, and everything that they, they, um, tried to do to you they um and did they did all of this for money this person is very um excessive over um material things power and money they um operate in gold digger energy and they always choose love choose money over love there was no love in this situation they only wanted this divine partner because they thought that they were going to be able to get some money and wealth out of the situation since they knew that your divine partner was a um a twin flame in a twin flame contract so they figured that if they could get rid of you um by trying to destroy your life even um trying to unalive you with death magic if they could get rid of you, then this person would forget about you and forget about their feelings for you. And then they would emit, eventually marry them so that they could get the, the divine inheritance that come, came with your twin flame soul contract. But they were sadly mistaken that the divine was not going to let that go down like that. So the truth has come out about them, about everything they have been doing behind the scenes. And this is very bad news for them uh, because they're losing their stability. Your divine partners are walking away, freeing themselves from all of this con conflict, confusion and competition and just um, foolishness, selfishness, operating in ego on demon time and devil energy they are walking away from this and so this person is losing their stability your divine partner could have been paying this person's bills so now they're um, wondering and worried and stressed the hell out about how they're going to pay these bills um, because a lot of them are sick at this time because they were wishing sickness on you projecting sickness on you and so they are sick at this time and they're also losing this divine partner to pay their bills. So they're losing their stability as well. And so, you know, even if a person leaves you, you still can go and get a job yourself and 
try to pay for your own bills, but whatever sickness they got going on, they um might not be able to get a job because a lot of them were trying to um uh, was projecting projecting and doing a lot of um spell work and black magic on you all sending sickness to you um trying to send you heart attacks trying to um affect your blood pressure to go up very high um sending you um skin problems and you know shortness of breath and just all types of stuff they were trying to do to to take you out to um unalive you with this death magic that they were sending and um so now all of this stuff is boomerang back to them and so they're sick and a lot of them um are fighting over sex so it looks like somebody here had gotten an std from somebody and some of them may have given it to your divine partners so um be careful with that if they're trying to come back to you and if you're trying to accept them back um so yeah so whatever they got going on even if even with your divine partner leaving them and not you know paying their bills anymore they going they got some type of sickness going on that's causing them not to be able to work that's caused them to lose their job and it's because they tried to block they made a wrong a very very bad choice to to block your um your twin flame contract and they're reaping the consequences and this person was not expecting this at all they thought this was going to go in their favor and that this this was going to work out so they're they're receiving very bad news that you are still getting everything <clears throat> you are still moving forward and getting everything that was due to you in this um twin flame contract and this is happening very swiftly for you and that this archangel michael is balancing the scales for you all and so this um this karmic and this group of people they are this, this is over for them they're in it they're having a very tragic tragic ending um a lot of them may be unalived also behind this situation based on what they were um doing to you all and sending to you all in the background but a lot of them are going to be in poverty like poverty poverty like a lot of them wanted you all to be to lose your stability and your security they wanted you to be um homeless and not have nothing not have anybody to um give you anything to help you get back on your feet Th these people were very ruthless and very hateful and evil just because of who you are they hated you because you are a chosen one you are a star seed and they wanted to defeat you and they were operating he operating heavily in their ego um in this devil energy straight on demon time just wanting to defeat you wanted to um control your life wanted to pl play god in your life they thought that they could do this because I, they've have done it to other people and gotten away with it. But those people were not chosen ones or star seeds. Your heart is pure and your intentions are pure. But they wanted to prove to people that you were not innocent. That you were, you know, had a bad heart, an evil heart. And you were doing stuff to them in the background. And that they were promising people that they were going to be able to bring you down because you were doing um, evil and nasty stuff to them and projecting energy onto them. And you all were not doing any of that because you don't operate in devil energy. Your heart is pure and your intentions are pure towards everyone. Because you are here on a divine mission 
and you're not in competition with anybody. You're not trying, you're not out for selfish gain. You're not out for status and clout and to be at a, you know, at a certain status group and all of that foolishness. You're not here for that. And you know that, you know who you are and you know your mission. So, but since they were money hungry and wanted stout status, clout and superficiality and, um, you know, to be known on all the social media platforms just to be, just to get praise from men, that's what they wanted. So this is why they targeted you and your divine partner. So at this time, this karmic group and this this karmic know that they have effed up really bad. Um, they were trying to steal your divine inheritance, trying to steal your your life, pretty much. They want it to be you, which is very strange. But that's happening a lot out here in this world. People want to be other people instead of themselves. The The gift and the blessing God has blessed them with. So this person was very confident that they was going to be able to trap you. Like they were hunting you like you were some type of animal or something. And they were very confident in telling people that they were going to be able to trap you and you were going to be destroyed. They was prophesying all of this stuff to people that they were in this group with. And and other people, you know, in their in their circle. But that was not not the case. They have trapped them their own selves in their own trap, in their own web of lies, in their own um, black magic and spell work. They are trapped in it and experiencing a, a huge tower moment at this moment. Um, upheavals, they're being destroyed, they're losing everything because they was operating in this dark energy and was overriding their intuition. God gave many warnings for them to stop and to back off and to stand down because God is a merciful God and he gives us a lot of chances. You know what I'm saying? We mess up and do the wrong thing. He gives us chances. You still gonna get karma from it, but they getting um judgment, destruction, ruin. Everything that they wanted to happen to you is happening to them. They're gonna be deeply heartbroken, dealing with these this sickness and and all of these heart problems and losing their stability and security. Um, justice is being served in this situation. Divine justice is here. God is balancing out the scales. And it's crazy to have that much jealousy for somebody. It's just crazy. I remember this happening in the Bible as well. I forgot what um, what book it was in, but when Saul was um, chasing David, all across all these countries just because he was jealous and envious of him. But Saul was the king. He was already the king. David was not the king yet. And he was chasing him and trying to um, unalive him and destroy him based on jealousy. Now, Saul was the king. David wasn't the king yet. But he was still jealous and, and envious of David because he was more fitting in his heart space to be the king. Make that make sense. But Saul was already in the office of a king. He was the king over the kingdom and all of these people. But he was then had them got off his throne, chasing David all around these all these countries, trying to kill him, trying to destroy him, 
just because he was jealous of his heart. And so if that was going on back in the Bible days, you can imagine what is going on now. And can you even imagine somebody chasing somebody on horses through all through all these countries? We we ain't in that time where we we riding on horses. We in cars and buses and trains and planes now. But can you imagine the level of jealousy? Of a of envy and rage that had to be in his heart to go and pursue somebody on a horse to a different country. That is crazy. So um, God wants you all to know, and which you notice now, you notice by now that you are heavily protected and divinely guided. And God has saw everything that they have been doing. They have just been adding up their balance of this all this karma. And now the scales are being balanced out. And so God is saying somebody, this divine partner is coming back to apologize to you. They are um, about to come and put in the work to apologize. It's divine timing for them to do so. And this person is hoping and praying that you're not dating anybody, that you're single because they want to um, propose to you and marry you. And this is what this karmic and this group was trying to keep them from doing so they could hold them hostage to keep getting their bills paid from this person just for stability and security. No love. And this person has been um, thinking about you all and thinking about all the happy times that you all had, all the joyful times. And they know that they was, you know, hiding their feelings or masking their feelings to um, <clears throat> fit in with this group. But a lot of them was doing um, mind, manip- mind manipulation on them, mind magic and all of that. So, But they have been um, spiritually awakened now. And they're ready to come and bring this justice to you. And a lot of them are under judgment as well. So you need to um, make sure you seek God first concerning this situation. Because depending on what they did and how long they was doing it, a lot of them have a lot of karma that they have to reap. And this is a, this, this is the year of karma. And people, God's children are receiving their good karma and people are receiving their bad karma. So you don't want their bad karma to spill over into your blessings because you don't deserve that. Like you went through enough hell with this situation, but now it's being balanced out and you're able to, um, you know, breathe again, um, feel good again you know saying you're not in hurting and in pain about no love situations you feel good you feel free you feel um liberated your vibration is high you've been meditating and all of that and you have gone within to get everything that you need for yourself you know that it's not outside of you everything that you need comes from within So you don't want this person to drag you back to a low place or to even um, cause you to lose your stability and your blessings that God is bringing into your life now. And, you know, you just got to be very discerning in these situations because these people, they've been gone. A lot of a lot of these divine partners have been gone for a long time and they have been in the presence of these karmics with all of these with all of this um dark evil energy and magic and manipulation entities demons and you know if they've been sleeping with them incubus and succubus 
entities and a lot of them need a exorcism they need to get baptized they need a reiki healer a shaman and all of that so be mindful of all that and be very discerning if they really you know coming back for love they really you know got the, your best interest in their mind and in their heart or if they just coming back because they receiving their karma now and they're losing their stability and they don't have anybody else to turn to except you because they know that you're their twin flame now and that you are receiving an inheritance and also a lot of you all <clears throat> will be see- receiving their divine inheritance as well because a lot of them have forfeited their contract based on the things that they have done with these karmics and these groups and um so yeah so god is just saying you know be very discerning make sure you seek him first before you deal with this person Uh, because you have come too far to um to get drug and down to get dragged down again with them in this situation And those of you who God is keeping this person that they you haven't heard from this person yet, it's because God is protecting you. Your spirit team is protecting you from them. Because God, he tells us a lot of things, but he don't tell us everything. But he sees everything that everybody has done. So be mindful. Um, see God first before you... Um, deal with these divine partners and anybody who had anything to do with them and was a part of this karmic group so that's what god wants you to know um that a lot of these um divine partners are coming back to apologize and god is letting some of them come back um that didn't know you know what was going on in this situation it was being mind controlled and mind manipulated and it's divine timing for them to come back and put in the work to apologize to you so a lot of you all will be uh reconciling so but just um seek god first before you deal with people places and things and he will let you know everything that you need to know about it everybody but y'all already know that because y'all intuitive. But sometimes, um, you know, since we're very um, loving and caring and empaths and <clears throat> you can feel sorry for people, you know, with all the stuff they about to go through and, you know, give in and because you have a good heart and all of that. But in all of that, you still need to seek God first before you deal with people, places and things, because there's a lot about to go on this year. Um, people are about to have a lot of come to Jesus moments a a lot of people are going to be brought to their knees for all of the stuff that they have done to God's children and um, it's not going to be a pretty sight so you need to go ahead and start preparing your mind and your hearts for this now make sure you're praying, meditating and raising your vibration as high as you can and seeking God first before you deal with them before you um, feel sorry for them and give them anything or do anything for them. All right, Starseed. So that is the message for life path number two. And I will be back soon with the other life path numbers. Bear with me. I love you all. God loves you. Oh, and before I forget, um, God wanted me to tell the um, our star tribe, Starseed tribe to um, exercise this year and to eat healthy or eat better. Um, This is going to be very important for your um, ascensions and also um, for you to be able to hear God more clearly of everything that he's trying to tell you and let you know and be aware of. So he needs us to eat better. Take care of our bodies, our vessels, so we can live longer and experience um, the blessings longer and also have the time that we need to complete our divine mission. 
All right. So I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourself and others right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.